go with her, but she's if I hear her throwing up, I'm finna go leave and go. But be right back. <laughs> We're we're gonna get pizza. Um, bless you. He supported me besides literally Reggie. That's it. That's it. Nobody supported me. Every fucking body that I was friends with, like, I bitch, if your bank account don't got a comma, just fucking say that. Period. Just fucking say that. Like, hey, and ass fucking, ew. Anyways, I just don't fuck with nobody from my school. How's Dexter? Dexter is good. I forgot about Dexter. Dexter's so key. fucking, I miss him so much. When I go see him in Florida, I swear to God, I'm going to show y'all him, like, his first impression of me for a minute. He's going to be so, ex like, you know how he dogs' so tails wag? His whole butt's going to wag. Like, I promise. Like, he's so fucking cute. I miss him so much. Yeah, DJ man. came to my job today. DJ is fucking opposition. Who? Fuck him for life. Who's that? Exactly. Who? Who? Fuck that nigga. Sorry, but fuck him. And don't even ask me what happened, cause. Anyway, Dexter is hilarious. He hates, bro. He was barking at his reflection. Like niggas been living there for six months and just now started barking at his reflection in the mirror. But yeah. I'm gonna be honest, mine don't. I don't remember what mine, mine what? I know what happened. No, you know his side. You don't know what happened. Don't fucking. That nigga is obsessed with me. That nigga's been obsessed with me since we became fucking friends. That nigga's just mad that I never let him. Never mind. Never fucking mind. Trust me, his story is not what happened. Trust and believe. Ow. At all. I was actually, I'm a very good friend. Ask Divine. Very good friend. When I'm concerned about you, I'm finna make sure you're good. And he was mad that I was concerned. Fuck you and your fucking, never mind. Anyway, you told me. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> you told me your side. Okay, yeah. Go blow your nose. Not with this shit. With a toilet paper. We not. I'm not gonna tell y'all what happened because it involves illegal substances. Well, I already told y'all. <laughs> ah! That nigga egged my car. Remember when I posted my ex-best friend egged my car? That's him. He egged my fucking car. And there's still paint damage on my shit a year later. Fuck. For life. I love you too. Don't say too much. You know these people know Eve. Yeah, I could talk about Florida people and irrelevant ass people, but I'm not gonna talk about no influencers. I know better than that. I might throw up. What already? Mm -hmm. I think because I'm on live, I'm like I'm not focused about that, and it's sobering me up because I'm like, that was funny as fuck though. What the fuck was funny about that? He egged princess. Because I told his mom that I was concerned about him popping different fucking pills every fucking weekend. Fuck you. Never mind. I was about to say some fucked up shit. Go, don't throw up right here. I'm not. Water. We barely know. had water. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. No, you still don't know what happened because the T-Page. Fuck the T-Page. The T-Page really don't know what happened because... <laughs> Again, the T page just went off of what he said. He said, but he doesn't tell them that. Nah, nothing. <laughs> he literally called my mom and was like, "Your daughter, your bitch ass daughter, is snitching on me." First of all, bitch, I'm not a fucking snitch. I'm concerned, and I was very close with his mom, so I was like, "Look, ma, he has a lot of potential, and I'm worried about him, and I'm worried about him." And she punched him in the fucking face. And he got mad. Fetish. 
fetishizing black culture with your hairstyle. Reggie, get the fuck out. I'm dead ass. I'm not finna play with you right now with that black shit. It's not fucking cute. It's not funny. It's never that's been funny. Big old age. Like, that shit's not no, funny. No, dead, dead ass at your big old age. Like, it's not it's cute not no funny. more. It's not cute. It's it never, never been cute. It I'm never gonna was. Be real. And you think she's joking, but she's dead ass. I'm dead serious. ass. That shit pisses me off. Like, for real. It's actually, like, not cute at all. You need to get on somewhere. At your Please. big old fucking age. All right, all right. On. Reggie's mm-hmm. nice, but he need to chill with that. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. But mm-mm, I don't like that. I'm just as black as I am white. I'm 50, 50. So don't try to come over here with that bullshit. I don't play that. I don't. BC. At your caveman age. Okay. At your BCE age, bye. How is CJ in baseball? He's doing good. It's... Have y'all seen it? He posts sometimes of him like swinging and shit, but he is good as. Anyway, <laughs> who's princess? The dog. No, you princess. knew he. Are you knew him? Princess is her car. Princess is my car. Fuck princess. But anyways, princess is my car. Dexter is my dog. I'm mixed, and I hate when people. Sorry, call me Reggie. White. No, dead ass. I didn't mean to come off like that. <laughs> Thank you for taking Alyssa to school. <laughs> yeah, thank you for being the only real supportive friend of my whole high school career. But I just don't like that white black shit. That shit's not ever been. He cute. said, "JK, I know you're black." Mm, you never said that though, like ever in the five years I've known you. <laughs> Anyways, she's not sick. She's just drunk. <laughs> oh, I have allergies. She has so allergies. I'm fifty fifty two. Yeah, like. All my mixed babies know how that shit go. You know how that shit go, too. People be trying to call you white and shit. I don't mm-hmm. like it. People be like, this one time someone commented and was like, her mom is Asian, so she's not black. Anyways. The fuck? It takes two to tango, okay? Hello. Anyways, a whole bunch of people need to be removed. Hey, if y'all been keeping tabs on ads, please send them to me. Please. I'm dead ass. Please. Y'all see me drinking that eleven dollar water to my honey water. <laughs> Get off the live and go edit, baby. We're not editing, I'm, like we're this. Not editing right now. Boo, Alyssa and I are literally four months and a couple of days apart. Get on her age too. It has nothing to do with your age. Have you not been on TikTok in years? He trying to talk about. <laughs> he thinks that it has something to. Do- when we say at your big age or at your big colossal age or your TikTok, it's TikTok. It's like at your big age, like, like you've grown. It doesn't yeah. have to do with the number. <laughs> you could be fourteen and be like at your big old age. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you do something that's not normal in your age group, it's at your big age. Like when people would be, doing, I don't know, weird ass shit. People would be like at your big age. <laughs> Drink some more and eat bread. Bro, it's harder than it looks. I'm not eating that shit. I'm finna try to eat this sandwich because for real, it's gonna be a lot easier to throw up tomorrow. Mm. Anyway, we're not talking about race no more because y'all be getting weird about that shit, which I don't know why, but it's not really hard to keep up. No, it's not worth eleven dollars. It will never be worth eleven dollars. It's just water, just water. Why do you need to throw up? Why do you need to throw up? Cause we was drinking. We drank a lot though. What time do we start drinking? Like nine, eight? It's been like four hours. Clayco is not Atlanta. Roswell is not Atlanta. Somebody tell my nigga that. He be claiming Atlanta. So do I, though. <laughs> Ugh. You see how the cheese got, like, clear? Like, that's weird. <sighs> yeah, it's because, it's, well, it's just because we're on an island. I don't know. It is an environmental bottle, but still. We drank Tito's. I was drunk one time and drunk so much that I had a panic attack. That's not good. This is Jaden Smith's water brand. I knew it. I had a 
feeling. Somebody tell him that he need to relax with them prices, boy. Well, they're not eleven dollars in America. They better fucking not. Twelve, twelve per. You need a mod or two. Can you even make mods in Instagram? I don't even know. It's not cold. It tastes like tap water. No, it doesn't taste like tap water. It's like. It like water. It's just water. <laughs> like it's nothing special. It's not eleven dollars. Mm -hmm. Drink water. Y'all ever drink with your family? Cheers. Cheers. I might throw up. Girl, but I don't know. Sit by the toilet just in case. Bring your phone. Go on TikTok. I'll be back, guys. She's going to go maybe throw up. And when she means maybe, she means she's going to. Let me not put that in my mouth. We are now drinking the water from the sink. Uh, me and CJ met in Tallahassee at the club. <laughs> well, we met before we went out, but that's why we were there, really, to go out. She left you hanging. I usually go with her, but she's... If I hear her throwing up, I'm finna go leave and go, but... Be right back. Whoa, I almost threw up. I know they got dispensaries in Bama. Say the word. <clears throat> okay. Every time I, like, burp, it, like, burns. <clears throat> In a couple of years? No, in a couple of months. I'm trying to listen for her. She's straight. Um... You ate before you drank? Yeah, we had a burger, but we didn't really eat it that much. And then we both shit before we started drinking, so... Yeah, there's definitely not dispensaries in the Bahamas. We could do a vacation, but the season don't end until the fall. So we're gonna have to wait until the fall. Or we could do a little weekend time out, but I don't know. It's 12.15 a.m. in the Bahamas right now. Oh. No, I forget that I have like 13-year-old followers and y'all never been drunk before. <laughs> I need to take my makeup off. You <sighs> straight. Um... Yes, I'm excited to go to his game. I'm not really drunk anymore. Like, I'm not 100% sober, but I'm not drunk. Y'all should have seen us trying to walk back. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't start saying y'all age. I'm just saying most of my supporters are, like, 13. This is why we go live on Divine's account. Y'all are pissing me off. Sometimes. Yes, I did it. Prepare with me. What the fuck is going on in the comments? Like, ugh. This is why I literally stopped going live. Like, ow. It's 
It's only 12. I'm not even tired. Now, if I throw up, I'm going to bed. But I really feel like I'll be fine until tomorrow. Now, me laying on my stomach is not helping. Because I could feel it trying to come up. But I can never hit on another female. Who is? Please send me the ads who have been trifling in the comments. Please. Like, I'm dead. Please. Please. Screenshot them. Whatever you got to do. Please. Lissa's baby, you've been here for this whole time, please. Because we only do positive over here, okay? I'm not, I don't play that. Are you good? D, you good? Did you throw up? Okay. No, don't tell me the ads right now. DM them to me so I can go and remove them as followers. Like, I'm dead ass. Like, I don't play that shit. I'm defending you what I do. No, I mean, send me the ads of the people that you're, def like, defending me against. Please send them to me so I can remove their ass. Like, I hate that negative shit. The fuck is wrong? Like, this is the thing about me. First of all, most of y'all are not going to know what I'm talking about right now because whatever. Um, I'd like to claim that I'm woke and I don't play that negativity shit. You speak negative, you get negative out into your world. Why the fuck are you worried about? Like, I don't know. I just don't like that shit. Um, just send me the ads, please. Screenshot them and send it, whatever you have to do. Because why the fuck are you so worried about somebody else, especially being negative? Like, it's one thing if you're like, oh, like, supporting somebody. That's nice. But the negative shit? Why? What is that doing? Do you feel better? Like, after saying what the fuck you said? Like, do you feel better? Are you going to sleep at night better? No. The fuck? <laughs> that shit is weird. Like, y'all know what I'm saying, though? No. Are you good still, though? Okay. Like, that negative shit is not cute. Why do you... Why are you worried about anyone but yourself? The moment you... Listen, now that I'm not as drunk, I could tell y'all real shit. Well, I could tell y'all real shit whether I'm drunk or not, but... When you start focusing on yourself, like, 100% focusing on yourself... That's when all the good shit starts happening. When you worried about who, what the fuck somebody else doing, they going to do what they going to do regardless of what you fucking say. So what the fuck does it matter? Focus on yourself. Get your bag up. Make some money. Do something. Go to school. Go Do whatever you're supposed to be doing. Focus on yourself. Because that, at the end of the day, is all that matters. You, <laughs> you... Run this shit. You are living your life. Why the fuck are you worried about somebody else living their life? Why do you care? Why do you care? I'm just like... That's why I never entertain or even give a fuck about negative like, or hate comments. I literally don't get offended because I feel bad for you. Like, you're not worried about yourself. That's sad. Like, I, I literally feel bad for you. So I don't get offended whether you say some crazy personal shit or not. I don't care because you hating shows a lot more about yourself than it does about me. So before you fucking send some hate comment, which I literally could never like, I just don't understand why people do that. Like I do, but like, I just could never. But anyways, before you fucking do that, think, is this person going to like, change anything about themselves after i comment this is this person gonna do anything different before i after i comment this is this person gonna cry themselves to sleep after i comment this no no the answer is no so fucking worry about yourself and your fucking money like i know you got everybody got issues going on everybody got problems focus on your problems and fixing yourself working on yourself because like i said at the end of the day that's all that matters 
you your mind is so powerful guys like you can look i i don't really talk about this much on the internet but i wish i did more and i will start because as my hold on i need to charge my phone as my job like my job as an influencer i feel like i should be putting y'all on game like inter- like not entertaining it ed- educating y'all you like screenshot it don't tell me i i cuss a lot anyways i just bleep it out in my videos but anyway you right now i'm just preaching anyways your mind is so fucking powerful me and divine have these conversations all the time your mind is so powerful anything you say and speak into existence is literally going to happen you cannot how did this turn into like a drunk live into like a motivational live i don't know but you cannot beat the law of attraction the law of attraction if y'all don't know which i really hope y'all do but i know there are some people that don't know the law of attraction basically is whatever you i don't even know how to say like that's like i've known about it for so long i don't even know how to explain it can somebody give me like a, a good definition of the law of attraction please so they could just know what the law of attraction is but whatever the fuck you focus on you attract that goes for anything also another thing everything happens for a reason i'm gonna say that again and a lot of people say that and you just like oh it's cliche no 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 no, no. it's true everything happens for a reason literally anything everything like literally small shit happens for a reason there be shit that goes wrong and i'm like it, like if i don't know at that moment okay that happened because of this i just trust like okay this happened because for a reason like there's a reason that this shit happened there's a reason i lost this friend there's a reason like anything literally anything our flight got delayed here and the reason was because there was a connecting flight that her like other family was trying to come on and they would have missed it if it didn't get delayed something small like everything happens for a reason literally everything and if you start no she didn't throw up yet if you start like confirming it like oh that just happened for a reason or oh like i'm telling you bro i'm telling you your mind is so powerful positive thoughts bring positive things yeah what you put in the world wait in the mindset you have for yourself is what you attract if you're always being negative you'll only attract negative yes that's literally what it is so oh excuse me I am wise. I would like to say that I'm very wise, especially when it comes to, like, spirituality and just being woke. Like, I could talk about this shit all day. And I'm here to, like, educate y'all because I want y'all to, like, I just want y'all to know. Like, literally anything you say, anything you think, even anything you think, you don't even have to say that shit. Anything you think, anything negative that shit is gonna manifest because you are the universe like i really hope that some of y'all aren't looking at me like i'm crazy and i understand because most sleep people look at woke people like they crazy but i promise y'all i'm not talking out of my ass i promise i do hi jale i do the liquor giver wisdom baby i've been had this wisdom whether the liquor is in my system or not but i'm just saying no i'm good now anyway i do want to start a podcast because i've literally just want to help everybody like i just want y'all to all be on the same level anyways fuck what was i talking about somebody tell me what i was talking about (laughs) please i forgot (laughs) y'all think everybody be slow she's still got common sense yeah i got common i always will have common sense i don't think woke is the right phrase no yeah it is woke wake up when people say wake up that's what they mean once you know how the world actually works how your mind actually works that's being woke okay what was i talking about before the podcast what was i like about to get into i forgot um woke is right people be sleep and people be woke exactly um anyways hold on what the fuck was i talking I was about to get deep too. Hold on. I forgot. <laughs> okay. 
see the people that are just asking me random questions right now. I love you, but we're not talking about that right now. Um, ow. Even if I gotta buy the mic, I got you. Oh, okay. Well, I don't really know, but I'm just gonna keep talking. You are, oh, you are the universe. Like, anything that you say, think, whatever is gonna manifest into your life. Notice how powerful that shit is. Like, you could literally, bro, like, I don't know. Like, there's so many examples I could give y'all. But manifesting is a real fucking thing, especially when you, like, start to believe that, like, you can't just say affirmations and just say them and then later overthink them and not believe them. It's not going to come true, whatever, whatever your manifest, I mean, affirmation is. If you're like, I'm rich, like, I got a mill in my bank account, and then you go look at your bank account and you're like, oh, damn, I got $3. You won't continue being broke. I'm just using money as an example. If you're like, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, I got money, I got money, I'm successful, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, not like that, but I'm just saying. And then you ignore the broke, like you ignore anything negative about money and you see something good happen. Oh, I just got paid. See, I'm a millionaire. Like you confirm it. Confirmation is just as important as affirmation. You can't just say it and not believe it you have to believe that shit there was a tiktok that went around and it was like be delusional like literally think whatever the fuck you want to think because whatever you think is going to happen in your life there are a lot of people that are very like negative they just think very negative and when you think negative you attract negative when you think positive you attract positive why do you think bro once i started waking up for real and like learning about this shit i have not had like one ounce of negativity in my life at all and i've been glowing and y'all see it y'all notice it and that shit is real like that shit is real there are so many people that like don't know about this and it literally makes me sad i wish i could like put all y'all on game like i really do so i do want to start whether I got to do this on live, whether I got to do this on YouTube, whether I got to do this on podcast or all of the above. I am not just going to use my platform just like most people and just, oh, views and money and followers. I'm not, no. There's a reason that I have a platform. My wisdom is meant to be shared. And I've never like, this is like my first time really talking about it on the internet, but I love talking about this shit. I love sharing my knowledge with people. So if y'all want more of this, please let me know. Like, I will work on getting a podcast together. Like, I'm dead ass. Like, please. I do believe in God, but I also, like, when people are like, religion is tricky. I don't want to talk about religion on the internet because there's... What you know is what you think. So, and I know a lot about that shit. And if you don't know, like, you're going to look at me like, like, not that I give a fuck, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just tricky when you start talking about religion. But love a podcast. Per. Okay, I'll I'll work on that. Like, for real. Because I don't want to just use my platform just for entertainment purposes it's also to like influence and educate like i want to educate you know so was that you what the fuck are you good d you good okay um yeah but religion there's just so much like so much different shit that people hear people are raised and like heard throughout growing up their parents tell them like that's just too tricky but i really feel like bro your mind you can literally listen to me listen to me whoever's watching this you need to hear this there's a reason you're on this live She's good. She's still... I I would hear her if she was throwing up. She's just on the toilet. She's probably watching my life. But... You can literally do 
anything that you put your mind to. And I know that you've heard this before, but it means so much more than just that. Like, you can literally do anything as long as you really believe that shit. And even if you don't, look, I'm a planner. And I know a lot of y'all are planners. Like, you have to, like, have a plan. I understand. I'm just like that. And I get pissed off when my plans don't go accordingly. Would I, like, are y'all the same? I don't know. But I know that I'm like that. Divine is like that, too. But we've had to learn over time that you just have to trust. Look, this is some crazy shit. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Listen to me. I promise y'all, I've done so much research. I've watched so many videos. I've talked to so many people. My mom, CJ, Divine, like we, I'm telling you, listen, you could put anything, literally anything you want to fucking do. If you believe that shit, you can do it. This is some crazy shit. Y'all ready? First of all, this is why I say you are the, you are the universe because don't try to control the outcome. Exactly. You just have to trust. If you say, I'm finna live in the hills. I'm finna have a mansion. I'm gonna have 5011 cars. I'm gonna do this and that. I'm gonna be so successful. I'm gonna own my own business. And you don't know how you're gonna get there. Don't stress it. Don't think about it. Don't just trust that you're gonna get there. The universe literally will shift its way into making it happen. Dead ass. I know I sound crazy to some of y'all, most of y'all. But I'm telling you, you don't need to have a plan of every every second, every day, every month, every. If you know you're going to make it, it doesn't matter the day to day. It's just going to happen because you said it's going to happen. Trust, trust the universe, trust yourself. You have to trust yourself. That's the main thing. If you are over here saying. Are you good? Hold on, guys. I'll be back. Tell me what I was talking about before. Hold on. For water. Okay. She's good. Um <laughs> Someone said listen. <laughs> okay, that if you trust anyone it actually happen. Okay, you being the universe. Yeah. You are so powerful. You're more powerful than you think. I promise. Think about it. Like think about it. Anything negative that you've thought about. Let's talk about relationships. Okay, like like cheating. You could be in the most loyal relationship. You could literally, like, be in the best relationship ever. If you have insecurities and you're thinking, he's cheating on me, he's cheating on me, she's cheating on me, she's cheating on me. It don't matter how loyal that person is, they're going to cheat. Because you manifested that shit yourself. Like, that shit is powerful. Like, I've literally seen it in my friendships. Like, or not in my friendships, but, like, with my, like, some of my friends. Not friends anymore, but I'm just saying, like... They've literally just, he's going to cheat on me, he's going to cheat on me, he's cheating on me, blah, blah, blah. Which comes with insecurity, which is why I'm not insecure. Because if you're insecure, you're thinking negatively and you're going to manifest that into your life. If you, whatever you say or think is going to happen. Like, there is literally, you can't beat the law of attraction, you can't. I'm preaching. I need a fucking podcast. But I'll until that is fully like ready, I'll do it on live because I feel like if I do it on YouTube, like they're gonna be like, Go, what are you talking about? <laughs> but let me read some comments and see like what we talking about. Oh, most of y'all are like preach. Okay, period. Okay, I'll save this. I don't want to save it because in the beginning I was talking about drunk shit. Should I end this and then restart it and then save that one? <laughs> That way I can, like, actually say it. Because I was talking shit earlier, like, about DJ and all that shit. I don't want to have that on my page. That's negative. We don't do that. Ow. 
You're speaking, sis. Period. Mind over matter. Dead ass. Like, what books did you read? I'm in your side, so. Um, I really just forced myself because I was like, it's either now or tomorrow. Yeah, smart. Ugh. Hold on, I need to put my phone on the charger. Yes, okay. Hold on, let me restart this so I can save this on my thingy. Hold up, y'all. We're, we're going to get pizza. Um, bless you. How I, how I go from 17, bless you. To two! We, we getting pizza. I don't know if I said, my ears, bye. Because some of y'all were asking me this. But... What are we talking about? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. No, that light in my face is... I literally can't see the screen. Hold on. Okay. What are we talking about? Tell Divine she's going to be featured in my next edit. <laughs> Fire. Oh, no. These are new people. Okay, wait. We was talking about... Deep shit, spiritual shit, woke shit. So you know what I hate? What? When people be like, "Not you worshiping the universe." You know that God made the universe, right? Like it's just ignorance. And like ignorance isn't a bad thing. You just don't know. Literally, being ignorant is just something you're not it's educated okay, on. But like it's the fa- it's. But don't shit on other people's it's knowledge the or. Between being ignorant and then like being ignorant and not wanting to learn, not being open to learn. Um, what made you want to change your mindset? I'm trying to think, because I've, honestly, moving out of my mom's house, like, my mom and I have always had conversations like this, but moving out and, like, starting to witness shit on my own really helped, like, really helped. Um, and CJ also really helped, like, really get me into this, because... I always knew about this, but when CJ, like, would tell me shit, I'm like, you're right. Like, and it just made me want to get into it. But I've always, like, obviously had the mindset deep down, but because I was just young and, like, let my emotions control my life, I didn't, like, practice it, really. But now, I'm only going to get more and more, like, knowledge on this stuff. So, I just want to share it with y'all. But, oh, I'm so independent and that manifesting is so powerful. No, manifesting is, lit- I tell you, you are the universe. You are what you say, what you think, like, even what you eat. Like, when people are like, you are what you eat. I learned this, like, recently. But, I'm trying to think of, I don't want to say the wrong thing. But, there's, like, a group of people that don't eat like meat because when like the cows and pigs and whatever animal before they died they were at a low vibration because they knew what was about to happen and right here this chakra is it chakra okay this i just don't want to sound ignorant but there's this chakra which is where they die like where they get cut off is like it's heavy in like vibration and I think, yeah, Muslim. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, when like, cows pigs. or pigs or whatever, like, they die, they get chopped right here. And they're at a low vibration. Then you eat that food and you consume that low vibration. Like, that's, you are what you eat, literally. Like, there's there's a reason why these people say that. But... Okay, maybe it's not Muslims then because they just don't eat pork. But I, there's people like that literally don't eat any meat 
because of how they how the animal died, like in just the low vib- vibration. You know. Aww, what? This girl posted and she said, "Shout out to Divine for giving me a did I the ideas to get into crystals in the first place." Aww. I should should I get more like this one? That's <laughs> Look, I'm gonna put y'all onto a YouTuber that I literally love watching and I've learned a lot from him. His name is Quasi. I'm going to pin it in the comments. Look up his YouTube channel. Quasi. I don't know how to spell his last name, but I'm going to just put J. <clears throat> He's literally taught me so much. Like, so much. Twinbe actually put me on to him because he watches him. Literally. Watch anything that you feel like would resonate with you. Like, there's stuff about reprogramming the subconscious mind, which I could get into that, which that's a whole nother thing. But there's just a lot of stuff. Like, the law of attraction, he has a lot of videos on that. Like, really listen to what he says. He knows his shit. And that's where I learned most of my like, knowledge from. But Okay, good night, guys. For the people that have to go to sleep, I love you. But I'll save this for y'all. Um, oh God, uh, I don't want to bring religion into this. I told y'all like religion gets kind of tricky because really you just, religion is something that like is taught in a household and like, you know, there, that's why there's so many different versions of different shit. It's just because of what your parents taught you. And like, there's just a lot of different versions of that. But what there isn't different versions of is the law of attraction, the universe, shit like that. So that's what I like to stick to because that don't switch up. So, but we're not going to get into religion. I don't want to piss nobody off or I don't want to, I don't want to offend anybody. But I just, I don't know. I really want to make a podcast now. Because I just want to share my knowledge. Like, I love talking about it. So, if y'all would listen, I definitely would. Um, Yeah, we're talking about spirituality. But, ooh. Good thing it's spring break. Okay, you staying up late. Alcohol lowers your vibration. Um, It probably does, but... It's okay every once in a while. You don't have to be at a high vibration 24-7. That's damn near impossible. But as long as you're aware, and that's a whole other thing too, as long as you're aware of what you're doing, what's going on, you're good. I personally have not gotten into crystals. My mom is really into it. Um, I really, I want to, but I just, I'm ignorant in that. Like, I just want to, I I need to get more into that. But I need to practice, like, my, like, mental and, like, my mindset before I get into other stuff. But how do you make your vibration higher? Um, Meditating is, like, the main thing. Like, if you really, first of all, you have to have your, all your back, your spine needs to be straight. That's a a very important thing. Spine straight. Um, I learned from this. Um, fuck, I don't know the word, and I don't want to say the wrong word. But monk, I learned from this monk that well, I have nails, but if you like sit and meditate and you touch your thumbs, like that will keep you concentrated. The minute your thumbs move or do some shit, then you're not concentrated. But um. Yeah, meditating very like helps your vibration and it helps you get in tune with your higher self. Um what else? Just watch who you hang out with. Like if if you're around people and you notice that you're just more negative or like just don't feel as high vibe like you know it's like the people that you hang out with have a very high influence on your vibration. Hence why me and Divine literally only have each other. Like, that shit is real. I'll only meditate if you have a podcast. That's fine. But, no, seriously, get into that. Like, hold on. 
Bye. We are not talking about scoliosis. Well, that's Bye. different.